Hi there, it's Mrs. Johnson here today to talk to you about the famous artist named Andy Warhol. Here are some pictures of him when he was alive and famous for making his art in the 1960s. He first started making advertisements for fashion magazines, but grew to be a rich and famous artist. The style of art he made is called pop art, which basically means he did popular things like products, Coca-Cola, soup, or famous people like Marilyn Monroe or Muhammad Ali here. He did Mickey Mouse and candy. I see Elvis and some money signs. So he took ordinary objects and turned them into art. He really wanted to be rich and famous and hung out with celebrities in New York all the time. He started by painting, but then started doing screen printing, which means he printed or made lots of images of his art over and over again. Here is one of his more well-known pieces of soup. He said, I used to have the same lunch every day for 20 years, I guess, the same thing over and over. You can see he painted all 32 flavors of Campbell's soup that they had at the time, and he arranged them on the wall like a grocery store. In these early paintings, he did paint them, but turned to making his art by screen printing later. Here is his alphabet soup vegetable can, even a crushed Campbell's soup can that he made. Here is a close-up of his black bean soup, and you can even see a little girl at the art museum in New York where all of his soup cans are today. The soup can pictures are so popular and famous that you can buy lots of things with them on it. You can get a pillow, shoes, a candle. Campbell's Soup even came out with their cans to look like Andy Warhol's soup art. A puzzle, a skateboard, or even a checkers set with his soup pictures on it. For our project, you are going to have two choices, either using a real can from your kitchen cupboard or drawing a soup can. And I will show you those choices right now. For our soup project, you will have two choices. Choice number one is to ask a grown-up to use a real can from your cupboard. It does not have to be a Campbell's soup can. It can be any kind of can because you are going to be creating a pretend label for it. So I took a piece of paper and cut it to fit, and cans are all different sizes, so you'll just have to do the best you can with what you find. It doesn't even have to be an empty can. There is still soup in this one. Um, because you're just going to be decorating the label that you make for it. So once you cut or even fold a paper to fit, um, measure it out, and then you will design the label that you'd want your soup to be. Thinking about what kind of ingredients are in your soup, is it something that's real or is it silly ingredients like Mrs. Johnson's pencil cup soup, I wrote great for art because I noticed it said great for cooking on the real Campbell's label. Or is your um, soup going to be something with real ingredients that you would like to eat, like candy soup? What will it taste like? What will its name be? And what will the label look like when it's on the shelf in the grocery store? You don't have to copy the Campbell's soup like he did. You can make your very own, of course. For this empty one, I did kind of copy the Campbell's label, but I wrote my name. I didn't even decorate the whole thing, just the part, just the front, really. Um, and and then of course this will be for my pencils on my desk and there we go. Choice number two is to draw a Campbell's soup can or any soup can and then make your own label for it. So here's one I did of a drawing and this one is unicorn soup made with real unicorns. Look at that. So if you want to draw a soup can, it's not too hard. All you do is start with a squished oval, long and skinny on your paper like someone ran it over with their truck so it's long and flat. From each corner or end of your oval you're going to bring a straight line down right about there. You don't want to connect these with a straight line. We are drawing a cylinder form so we're going to connect it with a line that is a smile and there we have your can. 
Next, you can make it look like the Campbell's soup like he did, our artist Andy Warhol, which has a circle in the middle, and then the lines on the side. But of course, you can decorate yours however you want. And then on the top, to make it look like the top of a can, a couple more squished ovals, rings going around each other, coloring that part gray, and the nice, nice spot on the bottom too for the bottom edge of your can. And again, the designing, decorating of the label and what kind of soup is on the inside is up to you. So I really am excited to see what you guys come up with for your Andy Warhol Campbell's Soup project. Bye.